544 now. We are looking outside. Sunrise under two hours away. We're not seeing any sun just yet. Got some clouds outside over Dope Campbell Stadium. Looking at a temperature here in the capital city of 50 degrees. Overcast conditions. Those skies do look like they've cleared up a bit the past 15 to 20 minutes or so. More sunshine in the forecast for today. Didn't get a lot of sunshine yesterday. It was gloomy outside. You got rain already back for tomorrow. Next week, a little warmer. We got 70s back in the forecast. Again, we have not seen 70s in a week here. You got temperatures mid 40s for Bainbridge and Mariana. A little bit more mild the further east you head. Live Oak, Perry, Cross City in the lower 50s. That includes us here in Tallahassee. Compared to yesterday, most of us are considerably warmer. Double digit temperature increases. You're seeing 15 degrees warmer from Tallahassee down toward Cross City. Now, 40s, lower 50s, still kind of on the cool side, so you probably want to have an extra layer or so. Not talking 30s, though. We're going to be looking at dry conditions for today. Rain already back in your forecast for tomorrow. So the Titan Doppler radar locally, not seeing too much. You got a lot of offshore showers over towards parts of Georgia, South Carolina. Some rain moving down through central Florida, but across the Big Bend, southern Georgia, skies continue to clear out as those clouds move south. We're going to be seeing more sunshine through the day. In the rain, it's already coming back for tomorrow. So the rainfall totals were pretty modest for most of us. This did not lead to any flooded concerns. A few hundredths of an inch here in Tallahassee, just over a tenth of an inch in Live Oak. Cross City, Bluntstown, Mariana, all those spots came in with more than a quarter. Bainbridge, about two tenths of an inch. Your forecast and focus, let's talk about tomorrow's rain. We're going to go through today pretty quickly. It's going to be passing clouds on and off all day, but you're still seeing sunshine in between those clouds. Once you get toward Friday, Starting tomorrow morning, probably going to be talking about some spotty showers on sunrise and throughout the rest of the day, rain coverage will increase. So your Friday afternoon, Friday evening plans, you're going to want to work around some rain, whether that means you're going to bring a rain jacket, an umbrella, change some plants to indoors. Not going to be an absolute wash, but we're going to have periods of on and off showers. This is going to be like yesterday where it's more gloomy and more just dreary than it will be in terms of any potential for severe weather. So that's good news and we're not going to be seeing any flood potential. You got outside stuff to do. You can do it today instead of tomorrow. It's probably a good idea. 64 degrees with partly cloudy skies and winds out of the northeast. Going to be gorgeous. 49 overnight, so those low temperatures should dip right around where we are now with more clouds in the sky and rain starting to pop up on the radar. Around this time, again, tomorrow, 70% for Friday, 20% on Saturday. That rain's going to linger into early Saturday. And once it's clear out, you got sunshine for a few days, and the temperature is going to start to get a little warm next week. Relatively speaking, we'll be topping out in the lower 70s through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Rain chances do look to climb as the potential for a front to stall out across the southeast happens to the middle and late next week. We're probably going to see those rain chances linger from Wednesday into Thursday, maybe even Friday as well. Once clear out Saturday morning, though, you do have a pretty nice weekend on tap with lots of sunshine and some warmer temperatures.